Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about the Urban Decay Through the Looking Glass palettes from their new Alice in Wonderland um, movie that's coming out. So they did a collaboration with them and they you know, brought you this palette. So it's really cool and it's very fitting for Urban Decay to have this kind of collaboration because it's very colorful, very bright, and very fun. And I feel like that's what Urban Decay really embodies as far as the whole line, the whole collection from the beginning. All of their, um, you know, packaging has been really cool and funky and I just felt like this was just like a duh for them. So it's really cool. I actually got this palette from um, a recent event that I went to, so I didn't pay for this. No one's paying for me to talk about this as well, so just putting that out into the universe before you guys jump to any conclusions or felt like I wasn't being honest with you guys. I do have it ahead of time, so it is going to be coming out very, very soon, and so is the movie. Um, I'm not really interested in the movie, to be honest with you. I don't like anything that um, is too... I don't know. It's too much. Like, I didn't like Johnny Depp in Willy Wonka, and I didn't like him as the Mad Hatter. I don't, I don't, I just don't, I don't like it. I don't like those kind of movies. It's not anything I mean. If Johnny Depp's not robbing a bank, I'm not interested. So this is what the packaging looks like. The box looks exactly the same. So I'm not even going to bother showing you guys that because this is what you have to look for at Sephora or wherever you're going to be buying this palette. Um, maybe Ulta or something. So when you open it, it's going to come with a big, huge mirror like all of their palettes, most of their palettes, like their Vice palettes. Um, or their Book of Shadows and things like that. So I love the mirror. It's actually a mirror. It's not like a shiny material that's kind of like a mirror. It's legit. So you could break this if you tried. On the mirror here, it says we are all mad. Or, yeah, we're all mad here. So I thought that was really cute and very Alice in Wonderland. Um, here, there's also another saying. And then when you open it... It reveals a really cool 3D butterfly. This is actually something I want to show my son because we have a love for pop-up books. We have tons of them in his little um, library. We call it a library. It's just a bookshelf full of books. But whatever. when you open it, it pulls on itself so it kind of makes the butterfly more animated. I, don't, I can't see myself opening this over and over and over again, but it's just... You know, just one of those um, unnecessary cool flares in this palette, but it's whatever, it's cool. Just for packaging sake and it's awesome. So yeah, thumbs up for creativity. And then here is the real deal. This is the point of the palette, the actual makeup. So you pull on this little tab, it's kind of like a book. You pull on this tab and you can actually remove the palette from the packaging. Obviously you have to put it back because there's no protection here. But for, you know, doing someone's makeup, it's just so much handy if you can pull it out. You don't have to bother opening the palette over and over and over again. You can just pull it out. So, so here are the 20 shades that come in the palette. It also comes with a dual-ended brush on the bottom. You guys know how I feel about brushes that come in palettes. I just feel like it's unnecessary. You don't really uh, need them. I feel like I would rather get an eyeliner or a lip product or something like that or maybe a, another eyeshadow primer. Um, just brushes, I just feel like it's just that brush that comes in the palette you just never use. It ends up falling out, and you never see it ever again in your life. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not even worried about the brush, but I'm just so in love with all of these colors. So, starting with the top here, this one here is called Looking Glass. We have Hatter, Lily, Heads Will Roll, Time, Reflection. This really cool purple one is called Gone Mad. Duchess Bandersnatch, is, which is one of the ones that I wore on a recent Instagram post. So if you're not following me um, on Instagram, it's the same name as it is here on my channel, SC Castaneda. Um, also, we have Dream On here in the corner, which is a really fun, sparkly, glittery eyeshadow. And we have Dormouse Paradox Kingdom. We have a couple of them that are like, I'm not even trying to say them because I'm just going to murder them. This really cool cranberry frosty color, which reminds me of cranberry from um, MAC. Then we have Chronosphere, we have Metamorphosis, um, Cake, Chessboard, Royal Flush, and last but not least, Mirror. So we have some shimmers, some glitters, and some also some matte eyeshadows, which is perfect 
for creating different types of looks. So I know there's a lot of us who are still trying to get our feet wet as far as really bold, bright colors um, like Bandersnatch, Gone Mad, maybe Cake and Metamorphosis, which is a really intense blue color. Can you guys see the really faint green shimmer? You can almost see it here on the, the rim of the pan. But this is a really intense, gorgeous blue. Let me just swatch that for you. Look how beautiful that is. Really nice. I feel like I didn't even need to rub it like a maniac to really get how pigmented these eyeshadows are. I'm also going to do a few more just because this can take forever I'm do if I'm doing swatches of all of them. I'm going to be taking pictures and put them on my blog, so check that out, sccastinated.com. Um, here's another one. This is Paradox, which is another beautiful shade. So, let's see. Let's do cake. Let's do cake. I'm going to do, let's do Heads Will Roll and Duchess. This is a weird angle for my hand, but we have heads will roll on my pinky, we have cake on my ring finger, we have paradox on my middle finger, hello, and we have this really cool metamorphosis on my finger, this pointer finger, and on my thumb I have duchess swatched. I have um, five more swatches for you. This is that cranberry one that I could not pronounce to save my life. It's really beautiful. It's called like Salen's Grum. I don't know how to say that. I'm not even going to try again. We have Mad Hatter on this green one here, which is amazing. This really nice shimmery one was actually a lot dustier than I was expecting, so you're going to just just know that you're going to have a lot of fallout when you mess with Dream On, which is my middle finger. This really beautiful neutral matte shade is called Reflection. And then on my pinky here, this really pretty kind of a metallic um, eyeshadow here. This one is called Kingdom and it's gorgeous. I love the neutrals and the mix with the really intense colors like Mad Hatter, that green. Okay, since I'm on a roll, I might as well do a few more swatches while I'm at it. I'm going to go ahead and go in with um, Bandersnatch. I don't think I swatched that one. Bandersnatch, Chronosphere, um, let's do Gone Mad. And Looking Glass. And let's do one more. Let's do, how about Dormouse? We'll do Dormouse. So we have, this is Looking Glass on my pinky. Um, this really cool purple one is Gone Mad. The one on my middle finger, which is, oh my god, totally amazing. This is Chronosphere. Um, this matte shade here, the blue one, is Bandersnatch, which is lighter than it is in the pan, but it's still, oh my god, amazing. You definitely need a primer with this one. I applied it to my lids um, the first day that I got it, and it just did not stick to my eyelids, so you really need to invest in a good um, eye primer. They have one, they have several from their line, like their um, eyeshadow, is it their primer potion? Yeah, eyeshadow primer potion. So, yeah. If, might as well just invest in one of their primers because they're amazing as well. And last but not least, um, the one on my thumb is Dormouse. And that's it for this swatch video. I know I'm missing five, but to be honest with you, I have no room for my for anything else on my memory stick. I know it's going to cut me off at any second. So hopefully you guys found this swatch video helpful. Um, I give this product a thumbs up. If it was crap, I would totally tell you guys, but yeah, I, I love it. I've been a fan of them since I was, you know, just getting started here on YouTube with the first Book of Shadows, so it's very reminiscent and just excited to be still here on YouTube, and it's thanks to you guys for liking, um, sharing, and also subscribing to my channel, and if you haven't done any of those yet, don't forget to do that, girl. What the heck are you waiting for? I'm kidding, but I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one.